Green Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. I'm about to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. A family trip to California to visit relatives was marred by what one family says they saw in their receipt from Pika Pika Arepa Kitchen in San Francisco's Mission District on Monday afternoon. After ordering food, Whitney Washington said her family sat down and waited for their order and then looked at their receipt. Okay, Iceberg Green in the building. So I, I started off that way to let y'all know um, in the Bay Area, racism is strong as ever. This lady, this woman um, and her daughter came to visit not even from California, and they decided to pop in this restaurant in um, Frisco. And I, I've never heard of this restaurant, but it seems to be a Mexican restaurant based on the name. I could be wrong, but they they stopped in that thing, and um, you know when, when they got the check and everything, they gonna talk about that more in this um, right here on this in this content on KTVU Channel Two News. This is fair use, but check this out, man. And I'll be back, and I wanted I want y'all to leave a comment on this one. My daughter is actually the one who notices up in the upper right hand corner that it says what it says here, the N word. Washington and her family checked other customers receipts and confirmed that they were the only ones in the restaurant whose receipt had the racial slur. They didn't think that she was her daughter was going to see that. And I'm so happy she did. But to everybody in Frisco in the Bay Area, don't act like you don't see this racism in your uh, city still. Don't act like you don't see redlining in your city still. Don't act like it's not the same or maybe even worse than it was back in the 80s. Don't pretend. Don't pretend, man. And this is an example. I just wanted to put this back out there because people be forgetting about racism. And we just had all these leaders and stuff come out here and talk in Frisco and raise a bunch of money to support their campaign, and this is what we're dealing with. We were the only Black people in the restaurant. She showed us her receipt, and in the same place where ours said here, the N-word, hers only said here. Washington said she returned her food, asked for her money back, and asked for an explanation. I pointed to the here N-word, and I said, do you know what this means? And he didn't say no. He answered with, I, I don't know how that got there. If they did that to an LGBT, Jewish, um, anything like that, Asian, that would have been a hate crime. Why is it not a hate crime with these white supremacists, these uh, these whatever you want to immigrant, whatever you want to call them, come over here and use these remarks? Why is it not a hate crime? Just imagine if she wouldn't have took that screenshot of that receipt. They would have tried to act like it never happened. They literally wrote that on, I mean, come on now. How, how derogatory and disrespectful that to me is a hate crime. Washington said the employee took the receipt from her, but not before she was able to snap a photo of it. She also said when she asked to see a manager, he said there was no manager on duty. I am so glad that I can talk to you to clear this matter because it's totally unacceptable. At the restaurant today, a manager said she learned of the incident shortly after it happened and took immediate action. We fired the employee right away. I didn't know what is going on. She said the former employee had no explanation for his actions. And to top it off, she says when she fired him, he tried to turn the tables. And they're not even from out here. So just imagine the people that's been here. But don't go to that restaurant. If y'all in Frisco boycott that thing, they gonna fire them. Of course you gonna fire them. Why wouldn't you? But if they wouldn't, have, if he would have, if she wouldn't have took that screenshot, that person would still be working there, and that's a fact. Fire him, pay him in full, everything, and he was going to sue me. But I said, come, I have it in writing in the, in the, in the. This so right he away. was upset at you. He was. Yes. Dead? Yes. Yes. Washington and her family flew home to Maryland following the incident. She says after considering what happened, she's more shaken today than she was when she first saw the slur. When I seen this, I didn't I didn't know how um, to take this part. Because, you know, again, she showed so much empathy. Um, and you can see she was glad to get on television because, again, you know, no one wants to get labeled um, 
a racist and look at this woman you know we deal with a lot of um asian hate crime um situations and looky here so like i said don't try to put it on like you know they're the only ones that get discriminated against like they're the only ones that have to deal with the derogatory comments and in school talking about how we look or hair we still deal with that and again this lady said you could tell she was like oh my god i do not want to get my spot shut down oh my you can see it in her voice she said listen i got him up out here he wasn't supposed to say it like that he did it wrong so i had to get him up out here hey y'all call me uh conspiracy whatever call me whatever I don't care, but I know this is racist. I know that this is derogatory. And I'm not saying this woman uh, told him to write that, but I want her to put the shoe on the other foot. You know, had it been her or her son, daughter, and that happened to them, you know, you would have wanted more than uh, one of us getting fired. You would have wanted us in cuffs. I'm not saying, like I said, man, this is a hate crime. That's the point I'm trying to make. This is a hate crime. Frisco, Bayer, we still suffer from hate crimes that are not considered hate crimes. That's the point of this. But y'all have a good one. Iceberg Green, I'm out of here. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. And make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. And to all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.